welcome back for another Tool Time Tuesday. I'm Melissa Muir. A few weeks back I did a project and it brought up some questions from some of my viewers about how to remove copper plating when it happens on your piece. Particularly this happens with brass. So if you are soldering some brass and you go to pickle it, it is not at all uncommon to have it copper plate. So let's take a look now. So this piece I did, it's actually, if you guys are fans of Legend of Zelda or know anything about it, it's a Triforce. And this was meant to be a pendant for my daughter. And as you can see, it's all completely copper, but it really isn't. These three triangle pieces are brass. And that is what I want to address on this and show you a very easy way to remove this. Now I can take a sandpaper or file or scrubby and work that all away. But that's a lot of work to take on. So let me show you guys a very, very simple way mixing up just a batch of pickle. However, it is a little different. It's called a super pickle. So the first thing we want to do here, I have just a little crock pot. And what I'm going to do is fill this up with really hot water. And the next thing I'm going to do is make a fresh batch of pickle. Now what I use in my pickle is just pH down. It's a swimming pool chemical. You can pick it up at any, any place that has any kind of swimming pool chemicals, um, even like Walmart or anything like that. This is a sodium bisulfate. And so what it's going to do is act as that agent to remove those copper oxides from a piece. Now, you saw my little pendant that I had or the little piece that I was working on. It's already been pickled and I still have that copper plating. So we need to give our pickle kind of a little extra punch. And we're going to do that with just some basic hydrogen peroxide. And what's going to happen is just by adding that, it acts as kind of a, a copper stripper. And so you have to be very cautious with this because you definitely don't want to leave your piece in there or your piece will actually disappear if it's copper based. I've actually seen that happen a couple of times where people have forgotten they've got their piece in a super pickle. It actually works fairly quickly. So I'm going to just take my, my sodium bisulfate here and I don't have any specific measurement that I use. Now I would highly suggest that you do this in a well ventilated area. Okay, or have your mask on or whatever else you're going to use. I'm going to stir this in a little bit, get it to dissolve. Shouldn't take very long if your water is really hot. So once this has dissolved into this, now I'm going to add the hydrogen peroxide and I'm going to add probably about a quarter of a cup. Again, I'm not super uh, scientific or specific on my measurements on this. So I'm just going to add what I feel like is about a quarter of a cup here. Now you do, like I said, want to work with this in a ventilated area. It is fairly caustic. It will make you cough. So definitely take some precautions. All right, so now I'm gonna take this Triforce pendant that I have and I'm going to place it into my pickle and we'll just let it sit there for a minute. And you can actually watch as that copper plating dissipates and disappears. Now the really cool thing about making this super pickle is your hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. So it's mostly water, but we have that extra little atom on there. And what's going to happen is that second atom is gonna drop off. And again, you're gonna be left with H2O. So you're just gonna be left with water. So when you are done with this, you can take this and place it into your regular pickle pot because it just becomes regular pickle. It just takes a little while for that to kind of dissipate. Now, if you can see, and I don't know if it shows here on the video well, but you can kind of see that there is a little bubble reaction happening here on our piece. And so you can kind of see that working to dissolve that copper that's on our, on our brass parts. Now I'm gonna speed this process up just a little bit here on the video, just for time's sake, but just know it's gonna take a few minutes for this to happen. So don't think it happens quite as quickly as it does here in the video. And every now and then I'm gonna come back in and just give, give a little bit of agitation to that water. Okay. 
And now we start to see some of that brass popping through. At this point, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing here. So I'm going to take this out and move this into my um, baking soda and water to neutralize that. And let's see now what we have. So as you can see, we've now removed the majority of that copper plating. There's still a little bit of polishing that needs to happen and I would have to do that anyway. But you can also see here on this part of the copper that there's a little different texture to it. And that is because this was removing those copper oxides but also eating away at that copper that was plating our brass. So it was actually eating away the copper here too and that is going to change the surface a little bit. But that's going to all get taken care of as I polish this anyway. So I'm not too concerned about that. So hopefully that answers any of the questions you have. Again, very, very simple. Make a fresh batch of pickle, add a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, about a quarter of a cup to half a cup, depending on how big your batch is. Let your piece sit for a little bit, give a little agitation, and hopefully you'll be on your way with your brass back to normal. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and mark that you would like notifications if you would like to see as I add new videos. I try to do that every week, but sometimes as a busy mom, it doesn't happen. However, I do strive to at least get out one video a week. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.